Hello, good morning. I'm going to make some boiled uh, turka rice this morning to go with my uh, mint chutney mixed lentils and potato cutlets. So I have about 420 grams of uh, long grain basmati rice which I have washed and I've been rinsing it for the past one and a half hour. I'm going to put this on the side. This is enough to serve four to five adults. In this big pot I've taken, I'm going to fry some onions. It's half a large onion until it's golden brown. A little bit of cooking oil. I'm using rapeseed oil. About maybe a couple of tablespoons should be enough. And I'm going to cook this until they're golden brown. So my onions are quite golden brown. I don't overdo them otherwise they will burn. I'm going to add a few more things into it. I got tea two teaspoonfuls of zira or cumin seeds. They go in there. Two cloves and a black cardamom which I have squished slightly to get the juices out. They go in there. I got a uh, a teaspoonful and a half of low sodium salt. Um, I've got uh, a cinnamon stick which I've just put in. Half a teaspoonful of uh, black peppercorns. They go in there. And a dry bay leaf uh, or taste part. I'm going to let them release their aroma for a couple of minutes before I put the rice in there. Now, before I put the rice in there, I'll show you the cup that I use to measure the rice. So, amount of water we use is quite correct. So, I use this cup to measure the rice and I use two of these cups of rice, which is about 420 grams. The reason I say that is because when I put the water in, I'll put boiling water in from the kettle, but I'm going to use twice the amount of water. So, I'm going to use four cups of this uh, of these cups for the water for the rice to cook in so these are almost cooked so here's my rice which I've been rinsing for the past uh, hour and a half or a bit more and I've thrown the water out now I'm going to put the rice in there one and number four. I'm going to let the rice cook until bubbles start appearing on top of the rice and you see the rice on top there is no water visible on the top and you can see the pits in the rice and that's when I'm going to cover the rice to make sure it's nicely cooked so I see you in a minute. So as you can see the rice, the water is gone from the top and the little pits appearing, still slight water in the, in the bottom. The rice is still a bit short of being completely cooked so I'm going to cover it up. So the rice cooks evenly. I'm going to just put it on a flat pan or tawa. I will heat quickly at a high heat and then put the rice on top so it cooks quite evenly without burning at the bottom. And hopefully this will cook the rice very nicely and it will be completely soft and tender before we are finished. So the rice has been cooking under the lid on the flat pan for about 10 minutes now. So let's check it out. Yeah, it looks nice. So let's have a look. Yeah, lovely and fluffy. I can't taste it in respect of Ramadan but uh, it is looks lovely and I'm sure it tastes gorgeous so I'm going to take it off the heat put it on the side I want to cover the lid completely so I leave it slightly open because I don't want the rice to cook any further otherwise otherwise it will become very mushy so it goes on the heat and that's our uh, plain turka rice